Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to clone a website using WGET and CMD. Cloning a website is a useful technique that allows you to create a copy of the website files and directories on your local machine. This can be helpful for various purposes such as creating a backup of the website or offline browsing. WGET is a command line utility that enables you to download files from the web. And CMD, which is your command prompt, is the default command line interpreter in Windows. Now, in this tutorial, I will be learning how you can clone a website. How do you clone a website using command prompt and WGET? Now, in this tutorial, I will be cloning this kind of website. In fact, we will be cloning this website. For the record, this video is just for educational purpose. I am not, or we are not advising you to go clone people's website. No. Now, in this tutorial, we'll be cloning this website using command prompt and wget. Now, without wasting our time, let's go straight to the topic of the day. Now, step one, how do you create or clone a website? First of all, you need to install um, wget on your system, which will not enable you to use what? CMD to run it. Now, first of all, you need to go to Google and type wget download window. Now, it will open for you. Click this step. This next, click this next step, which is internallyboard.org. Now you wait it to load. Now you have to click 32 bits. You are because it works with 32 bit system. You have to click this 32 bits. I have already downloaded it, so I won't be downloading again. So you just download this. After you download, it will appear on your downloadable file like this. It will appear on your file like this. WGET. So what you are going to do, you just right click and copy. Just right click and copy the file. Once you are done, come to local disk. Come to Windows. Then search for this system 32. Open it and paste it inside here. Then once you paste it inside here, the directory will be like this. Then what you need to do, go to your start button like this and type CMD meaning command prompt. Now making you type command prompt, what you are going to do, you are going to type wget. Now if it is installed successfully, you should see something like this. Use a wget option URA. So the next thing is for you to paste the URA and the line of code. Now I am going to give you this line of code. You don't need to type it. All you just need to do is to copy and paste. You just copy and paste. I'll put it. If you look beneath this video, you should see this line of code. So what you just need to do is to just copy this line of code and paste it. Just copy this line of code and paste it. So I am going to replace this URL with what the website we are cloning. Remember, we are cloning this website. I will copy this URL and replace it with this URL. Then I will copy everything. Come back to my WBET. In this place, I will paste it. Now I want to start cloning this very website. All I just need to do, I will hit enter. Now it will start cloning the website. So now you don't need to um, download the HT track and HT track will not give you everything you want. I am not saying the HT track is bad. No, it's not bad. It is good. But the easiest way to clone the website is what using command prompt and W get. So we just wait for it to download and clone. It will clone everything you are seeing in this website. Everything you are seeing in this website down to the login page, down to the registration page, it will clone everything for you. So every file in this website, it will clone everything and arrange it folder by folder for you. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause this video and wait for it to clone. Once it is done, I will return back to this video. I will continue. Now, as you can see, I am done cloning that website and it converted about 24 files in 1.0 seconds. Can you see just 1.0 seconds it has successfully cloned the website so where am i going to see this website and this folder so what i'm going to do now look at this very website which we clone this is the original website now let me go above with what we clone i will click here go to look at this go to user this is the folder assuredcrystalprofit.com now look at it now let me open the index folder this is what we cloned. 
and I will show you the original website. This is the cloned website. This is the original website. Now let me take the um, tab closer to the original website. This is our cloned version and this is our original website. So this is how you clone a website. You can clone any kind of website. Now for the record, this is for educational purpose. We are not advising you to go and clone anyone's website. No, we are not advising that. Now this is our cloned version. This is our original version. Cloned version, original version. Now let's click on the sign it button on our clone version. This is our sign it button on our clone version. Now let's click on our sign it button for our original version. This is our sign it button for our original version. As you can see, we don't have any different. It is the same thing with our clone and the same thing with our original. Now that you've cloned your website, how do you now upload it? Because you need to upload it to your domain name and your hosting. How do you now upload it to your domain and hosting? This will now take us to the step on how to upload your cloned website to your domain. So what you are going to do, yeah, let me find my VPN. Let me find my VPN, then I'm going to log into my hosting account. Then I'm going to make use of one of my free hosting. So what I am going to do, I'm going to upload this file so that you see how to upload the same file. So I'm going to log into my Namecheap account. This is my cloned version. I'll log into my Namecheap account. Then I'm going to upload this file. I'll log into my Namecheap account. Now for hosting, I recommend Azure Hosting and Namecheap. The link is below this video. Now I'll log into my Namecheap account. Let me locate my hosting. I'll go here. Come to my hosting and um, go to my cPanel. I need to log into my cPanel. So now the next step is to go to my cPanel and locate my um, domain name, which I want to upload this file. So this is the domain I am using, which is tutorial.omatechdigitals.com. This is the domain I'm using. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to upload this cloned file with it. This very cloned file. So I'm going to upload it. The first thing I'm going to do, you want you convert it to zip file you compress it to zip file beg your pardon so i'm done so the next thing you come to your file in your domain you click on upload then you select that file localhost user administrator then we search for that file this is it then you upload now this is how you upload your cloned website this is how you upload your what your cloned website. So once it is done, you are going to extract the zip folder. Once it is done, you extract what the zip folder. Now you just wait for it to turn green. Once it is done, you extract the folder. So if it is done, I'll click back. I'll go back to that place. Then I'll click on it and I will extract the folder to public um to the domain name. Extract the folder to the domain. Then once I'm done. I'm going to delete this zip file. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to select it and move it to my domain. Move it to my domain. I'll delete the folder. I don't want it to be inside the folder. I'll move it inside my domain. Then once I'm done, I'm going to delete this very folder because I don't need it again. Now I have my index page and I have my... So now let's view tutorial.omatechdigital.com. Let's um, check um, tutorial. Tutorial tutorial.omatechdigital.com so let's see if what we just did will appear now as you can see under my domain i now have the same script the same website i have in this assured crystal profit i have it in where tutorials.omatechdigital.com now what you need to do next is to edit the the content because I wouldn't want or you wouldn't want your site to be the same with another person like using the same content and the same name and everything so what you are going to do if you want to edit online you click on edit on the html.index.html then you can start editing your file now i want to change their name i don't need their name their name is assured so i'm going to call my own uh, omatech tutorial crypto then I'm going to save it. Now, once I save it, I am going to refresh this. Then you check my title. My title should now be what? Format tech instead of what? Assured. 
So let me refresh. Let me refresh. As you can see, it has changed to normal tech tutorial crypto. Are you seeing it? So now this is how you clone the website and you upload it to your domain name. You cannot get the back end of this very site. No, it is just the front end. Now, if you need back end to this kind of website, I want you to click on the link on this video. There is a link beneath this video. Click on it and chat me up. That you need, please, I need a package for this very script. And I'll, I'll give you any package you want. Because this is just a CMF file. You will not get a backend for it. The backend will not follow it. It is just your front end. So if you need a backend for this, I want you to hit the link below and chat me up. Chat me on WhatsApp or send me an email that you need a backend. So now, you can make changes to anything you want to make changes to. Now look at this live chat. The live chat by the right hand. This is the live chat. If you don't want the live chat, all you just need to do is just to highlight it with a smart up. This is it. Highlight it and you remove it. Once you remove it, you see this the live chat at your right hand. It will go. This very live chat at your right hand. It will go. Now, if you want to make changes to any other thing, maybe you want to make changes to the slider. You scroll down to where you see the slider. Then the amount, the amount on the side, the slider on the side, the images, everything. You already have the file. So what you just need to do is start editing. Instead of signing, I can write login so that my whole thing should be different. Instead of register, I can write sign up so that it will not look as if I am using word to word so that everything can be different. Instead of investment plan, I can write our investment. I can just write our investment. Are you betting? So now, what, what once I'm done, I'll just hit on save changes. Now everything that I've changed, it will reflect on this very place. Everything that I've changed, once I, I refresh the site, it will appear here. So now guys, this is how you clone a website and you upload it to your domain name. But if you have any questions, I want you to drop it on the comment section. If you have any um uh, uh, um anything, any kind of video in, in relation to this you want us to do, please feel free to ask your question and please. If you like I said, if you need a back end for this website or script, please chat me up or send me a mail that I need a, a, a back end for this and I'll give you a back end at any token. Thank you very much.